Now see here this chapter is mechanical properties of fluids. Here first we have to know what is fluids actually. See here a substance which begins to flow when external force is applied to it is called fluid. Examples here liquids and gases and you know fluids exert thrust that is called also force. Why they exert thrust? See here if a container suppose you have taken a container like this which contains liquids or which contains here a fluid because liquid is also a fluid. See here all the molecules of this liquid they are in motion due to their due to the temperature or you can say all the molecules have thermal velocities and these molecules keep on colliding with the walls of the container. When they collide with the walls of the container and they rebound during this process there is a change in the momentum normal to the surface and they transfer some momentum to the wall and this rate of change of momentum is known as force. So, all these uh, molecules of the liquid apply force on the walls of the container that is they apply thrust on the walls of the container. Whenever these, uh, these molecules apply the force on the walls of the container or exert thrust that thrust or that force is perpendicular to the surface. Now see here when an object is submerged in a liquid at rest liquid exert force on the surface of this uh, body and that force is always normal to the surface. Now see we can we can understand or we can explain this thing by taking an example suppose liquid is in equilibrium you are taking and that is in this vessel. In this vessel you have taken liquid which is actually at rest. Now suppose there is any object is here and liquid which is in contact with this surface applies force to, to this side. So, there is also the reaction or that is a force of reaction by the surface that is to this side R which is equal to F. Now this force F acts at an angle theta with the parallel surface of the body. So, this angle is here suppose theta. So, this has got the two component f cos theta to this side and f sin theta to this side. Now, liquid is at rest and f cos theta is acting to this side. It means liquid should move to this side because liquid has no tendency or it does not oppose any tangential force. So, because of f cos theta liquid should move to this direction, but liquid actually not moving here. It means f cos theta is equal to 0 because liquid is at rest there is no any motion. So, we can write here f is actually does not equal to 0. It means that is cos theta is equal to 0 and theta is equal to 90 degree. So, from this example it is clear that if the liquid is at rest and any body is submerged inside the liquid. So, the force applied by the liquid is normal to the surface and this is known as thrust and this thrust per unit area. So, that is known as pressure. So, we can write here average pressure is equal to here force upon area. So, this is the thrust per unit area. And this pressure has got the SI unit that is a Newton per meter square and it is written is here 1 Newton per meter square is written here 1 Pascal. So, and dimensional formula of pressure also you can write that will be here m L raised to power minus 1 and T raised to power minus 2. And see here pressure is a scalar quantity.